Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Next week, Tom King faces certain death as he gets electrocuted while his battered wife Belle King is attempting to flee the village. In another scene, Jai Sharma's crafty actions begin to affect his marriage to Lori Thomas, but will she find out what he's been up to? While Don Fletcher receives encouragement from her mother Rose Jackson, Kane Dingle gives guidance to his stepson Maddie Barton, who is incarcerated. For spoilers for Emmerdale for next week. Will Belle King escape as Tom King perishes? Belle admits to Tom that she told him she had a miscarriage rather than an abortion when speaking with Rachel, her mental health care coordinator. Belle worries that throughout the consultation, Rachel is starting to recognize the full scope of Tom's authoritarian actions. She begs Rachel to go, but when Rachel comforts her, the truth of Tom's cruelty finally sinks in. When Rachel suggests that Belle take a vacation from Tom, a scared Belle nods cautiously. As Tom is putting the pieces together regarding Belle's falsehoods, a conflicted Belle is gazing out of a taxi's window. When Belle claimed to be walking Piper, Noah Dingle reveals that she was in town for an appointment. Tom, on the other hand, cannot control his wrath when he learns that Belle visited an abortion clinic. Taking a rusty iron bar, Tom unleashes a barrage of strikes on everything and everything in the barn. Tom throws back his arm for one last swing, only to be electrocuted and forcefully thrown against a beam as the bar crashes into the barn's rotary isolator behind him. Belle has packed her bag and is prepared to travel to Scotland to visit her niece Debbie Dingle while Tom lies comatose, or worse. Will the terrible Tom perish, allowing Belle to be free from his cruelty? 2. Jai Sharma keeps his crafty actions a secret from Laurel Thomas Laurel overhears Jai and Eric Pollard having a heated exchange, but Jai quickly vents his rage at Pollard. Later, Sunni Sharma, who is keen to leave the village behind, seeks Laurel for guidance regarding his boyfriend Nikki Milligan. As she reminds Sunni of the value of compromise in relationships, Laurel assures him that Jai would be heartbroken if he left. Thoughtfully considering Nikki's request to leave the village, Sunni is unaware that Big Brother Jai is hiding things from him after driving their murderous father Amit out of the community. Additionally, we are aware that Sunni and Nikki will be departing this summer. When Pollard doesn't pay for his drink, Laurel becomes suspicious and sends her to talk to Jai about it. When Laurel questions Jai about Pollard's harsh demeanor at home, Jai feels like the walls are closing in. Will he reveal, nevertheless, that Pollard is using him as a pawn? 3. Kane Dingle provides Maddie Barton with unsettling counsel Amy Barton is concerned about her husband Maddie because he has informed her not to go see him in prison going forward. When Maddie phones Amy, they have a tense but appreciative conversation that ends with Maddie bravely grinning in spite of his suffering. However, he tries to hide his shock upon discovering Hardman. They've transferred less inside his cell. With each of Les's sharp, menacing jabs, a terrified Maddie becomes more and more concerned about his own safety. When Kane pays Maddie a visit, his attempts to cheer him up are unsuccessful. Maddie, who is terrified, reveals his new cellmate and tries to control his feelings. When Kane tells Maddie to use force against anyone who threatens him, he is terrified of what this could entail for him. Will Maddie follow Kane's advice? And what will Samson Dingle, Sam Hall, have to do to prove Maddie's innocence about the stabbing? 4. Don Fletcher gains encouragement from Rose Jackson. When Don returns to home farm with her sick baby Evan, she becomes afraid that the bigger children will see their younger sibling and spread viruses to him while Evan fights leukemia. Billy, Don's husband, is concerned that she is too protective, but Rose's kind comment regarding Don's innate aptitude to be a mother strengthens their bond as they begin constructing a fort together. Is Rose able to keep Dawn optimistic? According to Emmerdale teasers for next week, Tom's abuse causes Belle to picture several different outcomes for herself in a special episode. Will she, however, make any significant realizations? In another scene, Moira offers Ruby a Glasgow kiss upon witnessing her approach Kane.1. Belle is disappointed to hear that there won't be any disclosure pertaining to her application for Claire's Law. Through the covert cameras, Tom observes Belle's distress and is thrilled to see her so distraught. 2. Tom makes threats to reveal Belle. Afterwards, Belle is appalled to discover that Tom has access to the contents of her personal email. 
After that, he makes threats to reveal some of her pictures, but Belle quickly discovers that the password to view them has been altered. Point three. Tom and Amelia are a couple. Then, trying to beat Tom at his own game, Belle takes hold of the tablet that contains the pictures. She then goes to face Tom at the Woolpack, only to find to her horror that he has moved on with Amelia. Belle approaches Amelia's violent husband out of concern for her. But later, Tom uses his own key to enter Belle's home, frightening her even as she keeps trying to keep Amelia safe. 4. The Belle Special A special episode of the soap opera features Belle strolling through the village in a trance-like state shortly after this meeting. As a result of Tom's mistreatment, Belle will witness multiple futures emerge in this episode. Jimmy is looking at the phone as well as looking stressed out. 5. Will realizes something. After determining that Rose is the one harassing him, Will dials the unknown number. Then, though, he discovers that the phone he dialed didn't have an international dial tone after watching footage of Rose in Ibiza online. Rose can't be the one torturing him, can she? 6. Will's deepfake pictures Jimmy is shocked to see some deepfake pornographic photos featuring Will and Rose's faces when he checks his work email. Then he counsels Will to call the police. Will must decide whether to turn himself into the police or give the £10,000 that his tormentor is requesting from him. Nate and Tracy converse about Emmerdale. 7. Nate informs Tracy about his offer of employment. Nate informs Tracy that he has been extended an opportunity to work in Scotland. He can only make up his mind tomorrow. Nate is upset that Tracy isn't making an effort to keep him from going, and both of them are reluctant to acknowledge their residual affections for one another. Is Tracy truly hoping for this? 8. Frankie disappears. Following their chat, Frankie disappears, sending Nate and Tracy into a state of worry. After that, Tracy determines that it's time to report Frankie's disappearance to the police. Will the missing child, however, be located safely? Ruby and Moira Quarrel on Emmerdale, source ITV, composer ED. 9. Moira claims that Ruby has stolen her man. When Moira witnesses Ruby and Kane sharing a small giggle and squeezing his arm, ideas start to cross her mind. Then she charges Ruby with attempting to woo her man. Ruby gives Moira a headbutt on Emmerdale. 10. Ruby's Glasgow Kiss the situation quickly gets out of hand when Moira gives Ruby a violent headbutt right before Caleb and Kane enter the room, their expressions horrified. When Kane and Caleb see Moira and Ruby, they appear shocked. 11. Kane is not content. Kane is even more furious to learn that Moira missed her blood test appointment after witnessing everything unfold. After failing to communicate with a furious Moira, Kane abruptly leaves Mill Cottage. Will Moira, though, take any action to assist herself? 12. John is prepared to go. When Aaron learns that this is John's last day at Butler's, he is shocked. Will he just let John leave, or will he step in and let him know that he wants him to stay?